really have not filmed a Bad Each Other video in a whole year, to be honest. The last Bad Each Other video, filmed that in like October of 2018, so literally I haven't filmed a Bad Each Other video in a whole year. But I'm back! I kind of just want to reflect on my year in this video. I'm also sick, so like, I do sound way more manlier than I usually sound. I'm sorry. Shade got me sick. I love that for me. I haven't gotten my brows done in like three months, so they look really bad. Uh, I'm gonna get them threaded soon. I just need to wait. I like my brows to get really, really, really out of control before I get them threaded to get like my money's worth. <laughs> All right, so let's reflect on this year. 2019 was very interesting, to say the least. I honestly think I had the best, worst year of my life. <laughs> I went through a lot this year, but I wouldn't go back and change anything because everything I learned this year was like necessary for me to grow. Honestly, like since this is like a year like review type video, let's just go from like a January to freaking now um i think big for me happened in january um same for february my year started to get interesting in march i turned 17 woo woo period um uh, march was also the month that okay wait there's like a garbage truck outside and it's so loud for no reason oh my gosh. March, uh, I broke up with my ex and I found myself. It was the start of me finding myself. March through May was cool actually. I actually really enjoyed those months. I got accepted into a bunch of schools. I got accepted into Berkeley. I got accepted into San Diego State, Pepperdine, all those schools. I was really proud of myself. Um, I started working with brands like Flat Tummy Tea. Um, that was the first brand I worked with this year, which was so lit. I was like, dude, all the baddies are sponsored by Flat Tummy Tea, and now I'm sponsored by Flat Tummy Tea. What does that mean? That means I'm a baddie, period. Graduated high school in May, period. That was like the best day of my life. Went to Mexico right after I graduated with my sister and her boyfriend. It was lit like a tape. It was like, I'm honestly awesome because, I mean, who just flies to Mexico right after they graduate? <laughs> like, is that not lit? I found out. My boyfriend cheated on me with a boy. That was like the best moment of my year, to be honest. Like, just like going through that whole process. Like, I'm not a girl that likes drama. Like, I hate drama. I feel like drama is super ghetto. Leave me out of it, please. But since I was in that situation, I milked it. I milked the F out of it and I enjoyed it. It was like, I felt like I was in Degrassi or like a movie. It was definitely so much drama. Probably the most drama I've ever been in. Like, it was just a mess, to be honest. I had the timeline shook, that was fun. Then I went to Hawaii, which was also lit. After I came back from Hawaii, me and my sister moved into our first apartment, period. Like, lit. I started school. Honestly, like, school is like the least fun part of my, was like the least fun part of my year. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of college right now, to be honest, but um, it's okay, because we gonna get through it, as I should. In August, I got laced. <laughs> by a scammer i almost lost my life no cap all jokes aside um somebody tried to kill me story time coming soon um basically i was laced um by this guy that i was talking to and honestly yeah i'm gonna tell a story about it because it's that insane call me the next tana mojo baby my stories are 100 percent true though no shade no tea but <laughs> I started working with Fashion Nova, which again is so lit, like, hello. Fashion Nova works with baddies. I'm a baddie, period. I started working with Pretty Little Thing, lit again. Me and my sister relaunched our Fine Girl collection and it's now rebranded and everything, so we sell way more than hair. Now we sell freaking clothes and I'm just excited to see where that's gonna go. If you haven't checked out our website, pause this video and go check it right now. But don't forget to come back to this video, but the website is finegirl.net. Um, we switched our brand from fine girl hair to fine girl period just fine girl no fine girl hair just fine girl um, That's what we rebranded it as and Yeah, we're like so lit so as for right now We had a pretty lit year not even gonna lie and obviously this year is not over so I have no idea 
you know what's gonna happen in the course of like two three weeks you know what i'm saying more stuff could happen but just looking back i had a pretty decent year not gonna lie uh, the devil definitely tried to break me but i did not break not once so we love that for me i learned a lot this year and i'm gonna tell you guys what i learned this year because i feel like i learned a lot of valuable lessons that i totally would love sharing with you guys the biggest lesson i learned this year was to not trust people to be honest and like i know that's such a cliche like hey this garbage truck outside is really pissing me off like i'm literally trying to film a video being so rude why is it so freaking loud honestly even if i close my window like nothing's gonna happen it's gonna sound the exact same like it only happens when i try to film that is literally so disrespectful Okay, so yeah, I learned that you honestly, you can't trust anyone. All that you have, to be honest, is yourself and God, and you should feel secure knowing that. You don't need anyone other than yourself and God. Um, and obviously, like, I knew that before this year, but like, this year helped me, like, confirm that. The whole trust thing, like, you may want to put your trust in a person, all of it, but at the end of the day, like, it's not safe to do that. Like, sure. You know what I'm saying? There's people that you love and that you want in your life and that you, you feel are like your people and that you can just put all of your trust into them. But at the end of the day, you have to remember in the back of your mind that like people are people and people have their own brains, people have their own thinking processes, people have their own agendas, people have their own ways of doing things. Don't feel bad if someone, you know what I'm saying, betrays you or breaks your trust, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I also learned that I can't ex expect myself out of people. I'm my own person, everyone else is their own person. Where I kind of went wrong was I was looking for myself in everyone else. I learned like you can't do that. Like you literally, uh, you cannot do that. That makes, it's honestly like stupid. People, like I just said, they have their own ways of doing things. And it would be nice, you know, if everyone kind of had the same thinking processes as you and like moved the same way as you did. But I had to realize that that's not realistic at all. Like nobody is the exact same as another person. And there are people in life and out there somewhere that are just like me and have like think exactly like me and I totally can mesh with. But that's like maybe like 2% of the human population. Um, I know there's people out there I mean, I have friends that I relate to and, you know, my sister and, you know, my brothers and stuff like that, but just like random strangers expecting myself out of them, it doesn't make any sense. Um, to think like that, to expect yourself out of everyone else, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure and you're going to be disappointed in the end because it's unrealistic. So, yeah, I also learned that, like, I didn't, okay, I already knew this, um, I've hated boys my entire life, okay, that's like, Everybody knows that I don't like men. Unfortunately, I am attracted to them, but I still don't like them. <laughs> but I learned that like, that's unrealistic. I obviously am attracted to men and men are attracted to me. So I'm gonna eventually have to like, you know, open up eventually. That's no time soon. But what I have learned about men is that at least right now, they're gross. I mean, they're all gross, period, but like right now at this age, 17, 18, 19, 20, I feel like they're gross. And there is a scientific study that men don't physically, emotionally, I mean, not physically, men do not emotionally mature until they're about 40 years old, um, which is very discouraging for, you know, people that are attracted to men because we're gonna be dealing with stupid guys for the rest of our lives, pretty much. Um, we're just gonna have to tolerate them, I guess. And tolerating people is not something I want to do like tolerating someone is not fun tolerating someone is very very annoying actually because they're always you're always gonna be like on edge like I don't want to tolerate someone why do I have to tolerate you why can't you just be good be a good person I learned that men don't don't emotionally mature until they're 40 years old which is really disgusting because to be honest I feel like I'm pretty much emotionally matured right now and to come across a man that is not gonna emotionally mature until 20 years from now, that's like really sad. It kind of leaves me with like no hope for myself in terms of relationships, but at the same time, like I don't care about relationships like at all. I feel like relationships, they only do so much. And if you already are a whole person outside of a relationship, like or, which everyone should be a whole person outside of a relationship, let me just say that. Relationships are like 
at the bottom of my list of priorities to be honest like I don't care about them um they should never be anyone's priority let me just say that if you are if you're watching this video and you are prioritizing a relationship you're looking for a boyfriend you're looking for a girlfriend just stop right now because that's not even it's not even practical and it's also not healthy like you're looking for another person you are seeking another person you are searching for another person stop why are you doing that especially if you aren't whole yourself two halves of a person don't make a whole they don't so you're seeking another person you're seeking a man you're seeking a woman are you completely whole yourself um people often get into relationship and it's like why are you in this relationship you're insecure you're unhappy you are battling internal issues and, and you're trying to fill that void in yourself by being in a relationship with someone that makes no sense can i just be raw and real like it makes no sense and it's honestly like it's gonna hurt you in the end because at the end of the day if you're not whole and you're seeking a relationship it's not gonna end well you're not in the relationship for the right reasons um you're just in it for well this is just what i think it's, i could totally be wrong but you're just in it for just a person you just want someone there and that's like totally not what the point of like relationships are so again anyone watching this video that is seeking a relationship that isn't completely content with themselves find your own happiness first and then you know still don't seek a relationship but once you find your own happiness maybe someone will come along and then you'll be ready to you know what i'm saying engage in a relationship with this person but you should not be seeking a relationship just for a relationship i feel like this generation people like to get into relationships just so they can say like they're in a relationship like what is the point of that what is being in a relationship if anyone disagrees with me let me know in the comments what does being in a relationship do for you that you can't do for yourself <laughs> or how about this answer in the comments what being in a relationship does for you personally i feel like for me being in a relationship it's just like having a, a a friend to be honest but i don't need that i don't need a friend i don't need anybody and that probably sounds like cold hearted or whatever but no like i I'm not cold hearted, I kinda am, but I'm not, like I'm just, I'm satisfied with my own like, my own solitude, so if I'm happy by myself, the person that I'm with needs to contribute to my happiness, but not like, fill a void, if that makes any sense, I feel like I'm not making sense at all, but basically, what I'm trying to say is that I love being alone, you know what I mean, so if I find someone that I love being alone with, then that's the reason to be in a relationship. There's that song, Billie Eilish, I want to be alone, alone with you if that makes sense. That's all of that being in a relationship kind of is to me. I could totally be wrong. I could totally not even know what I'm talking about right now. But I just think that my theory of relationships is a pretty solid theory. Um, sound off in the comments if you literally do not understand what I'm saying or even agree with me. Go ahead, clap me in the comments. This is totally like going off base of my video. This is supposed to be a year in reflection. I'm talking about relationships now. A lot of younger people watch my videos. And let me just say right now, can you like stop, stop looking for a boyfriend, please? Okay, so my camera battery died. I had to charge it. Now I'm back. Um, I forgot what I was doing. Okay, I think I'm about to contour. Yeah, I'm about to contour. I never do um, like cream contour, powder contour, none of that. I always just bronze. But I want to try something new since it's going to be 2020 and I want to see if I want to like switch out my makeup like routine. Um, so I'm going to use this. I haven't even told you guys what I've been using because this is not, not a tutorial. But I'm using um, this Pro Concealer, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Mahogany. And if this looks good, I'm going to use this all the time. Another thing about like relationships. Let's just stay on the topic of relationships right now since I love talking about relationships. People tolerate cheaters. Now, let me just say this before I go any further. I was cheated on like seven times. <laughs> It's not even funny, but no, my, my ex cheated on me about seven times, and um, let me just say, I was 16 years old. I was a young bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was young. I was very naive, and it was my first, like, year-long relationship. I didn't know anything, okay? Now, I'm using my age as an excuse, okay? That's why I tolerated that ish for so long, okay? Cheating on me seven times, woo, that is a lot. But I was 16, okay? Since I have gotten cheated on, and I 
you know what I'm saying? I lived through that and I, I tolerated it, I forgave him, and I got back with him. I can talk about being cheated on because I've lived through it and I learned, okay? I see girls in relationships with the guys and they get cheated on and they're sad, they don't know what to do, they're, they're questioning like what made him cheat, what they did wrong, blah 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 blah. And it's like, first of all, if your boyfriend cheats on you, that's that doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. That's not a reflection of you, that's not a reflection of your worth, blah blah blah. That's a reflection of him being a dumb nigga. That's literally it. Um, so that's that's one. So I see these girls being super sad over guys, blah blah blah. Let me just also say that whenever I got cheated on, I was never sad. I was kind of just like, ew, you're disgusting. But I was never sad over it. Um, like that's just something I want to say. Um, so I see girls like sad over guys, blah 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 blah. It's like, okay. And because they're sad over him, when they when the guy you know asks asks for like a second chance or whatever, I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> they like give him another chance because they're so sad and they they need him in their life. And to be honest, like we need to. St I don't think I'm doing this right. We need to stop that. 2020. Like if a dude f's up once, cut him off. Like what the heck? Just cut him off. Literally, you need him in your life. He's not that important. He's not giving you 10 bands every single month what purpose is he serving so yeah that's something that i learned as, as well as like forgiveness does not equal like a second chance pretty much like i used to think that like if i forgave someone like that means like they deserved a second chance and they deserve to stay in my life no you can totally forgive someone but still cut them out of your life like hello i cut out i cut off so many people um, like last month, um, so many of my friends, friends, I cut off so many people and it was like no bad blood or nothing. I just don't want you around me no more. You feel me like, and I just had to let them know that. And there was no like, it was no like beef. You feel me? There's no beef. There's no like anything. It's just, I don't want you a part of my life anymore. Cause you are not contributing to my well being, my happiness, my success, my growth, any of that. So you just gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta get up out of here. That's it. Yeah. So I'm saying all that to say, girls, if your guy, your man, your bae, whatever you call him, if he cheats on you, that should be the end of the relationship. You should want it in the relationship. Please take it from me and know that if your guy friend, or your guy friend, <laughs> your man, your significant other cheats on you once, I feel like this is not clear. If he cheats on you once, like he will do it again or he has the ability to do it again because if he did it once that means he can do it again you know if he was capable of doing it once why don't you think he'll do it again you know it times out of 10 he will do it again so yeah save yourself the trouble like bruh i just want everybody to look at me as an example um like i'm telling you like there's no reason to stay with a cheater let him f up and and leave him simple like girls will get cheated on and then like their boyfriends will like give them like a bunch of stuff as an apology like decorate the room with flowers put flowers on the floor get them a teddy bear take them out to dinner buy them some jewelry buy them a bag and it's like f all of that f all of it f your bag f your flowers f your teddy bear i don't want none of that what is this doing nigga you cheated <laughs> i just had, had these gifts equate to what you did if you not giving me a million dollars as an apology get away from me like period girls would be like oh but he just bought me this stuff like he's sorry he said that he's sorry see he, he bought me a, he bought me a teddy bear he's sorry girl i can buy you a teddy bear <laughs> like what does that teddy bear mean absolutely nothing yep that's that another thing that i learned this year let's see what else did i learn this year i learned so many things in here um i learned that you have to well i already kind of talked about this in the beginning about like not trusting people but I'll say it again, you have to kind of watch the people closest to you because they be on some other stuff. Like, you will really be so surprised at how many people, like, around you are, like, not rooting for you and want to see you fail. Um, that's, like, a whole topic for another video. But it's crazy. Like, people will really be right in your face and be secretly hating. Like, that's, that's real life, man it's real life and it's so weird like what's wrong with you why do you why do you want to see me fail 
and if you want to see me fail why are you so close to me you know what i mean like get away from me get out of my life i don't understand it's funny i had to cut off so many um people because of that and it's just like no like i had to reevaluate so many of the relationships i had in my life this year i literally went down a list of people and i was like gotta cut you off gotta cut you off you're fine gotta cut you off gotta cut you off it was just like <laughs> honestly and honestly like i did this even before december like i was just ready to just cut these people off um and who says you gotta wait till december to cut people off that's like way too sharp Maybe that's why I don't freaking cream contour because it looks really harsh. Oh my gosh. I learned a lot about myself in terms of like, even like just me being like a Pisces, I learned so much. I didn't really know a lot about astrology until um, this year. I always like was interested in like, you know what I'm saying, learning about Pisces traits and stuff like that, but I never really like looked into it. Um, but yeah, being Pisces is really cool. Um, I'm not saying this because I'm biased. I'm, I'm obviously biased, but I'm also saying this because I think it's the truth. I think that Pisces are just like one of the coolest signs. I think water signs, period, are just really cool. Um, we have a lot of like dope qualities and I used to kind of think like astrology was a little bit like BS, <laughs> you know, because like how do you know? How do you know this is factual, you know what I'm saying? But I honestly think that it is. But I don't believe in like horoscopes and stuff like that because it's like, how do you know what I'm going to do today? Like, you know what I mean? That's a little bit, a little bit sketchy, but like in terms of like zodiac signs period and like, um, like just astrology period, I think it's cool. Uh, so I got my lashes done, obviously, and I don't really know what I want to do with my eyes today. I don't want to just leave them bare because that's really boring, but I don't know what I want to do. Something that I also learned is I have to be very selective um, about who I, ch who I choose to have like around me um because like i said people are really interesting like they're different people are just different and um yeah people will be having my best interest in mind um there's a lot of like non-genuine people in this world which is so weird like you would think like just being a person like just a regular person why wouldn't why would you be anything other than genuine but you'd be surprised people are weird <laughs> People are very, very, very weird. I'm from the Bay, so weird is like, that's like a derogatory term. Like weird is a, it's basically like a cuss word out here. Like you're, it's not even, a, it's not a cuss word, but it's like, it's very offensive. So when I say weird, understand that I'm, I'm reading you for Phil if I say that you're a weird person. And people are weird. <laughs> people are so, 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 so weird. And that's what I learned this year. People are weirdos. If you guys want me to do a Bay Area slang video, let me know. I think I was supposed to be, I feel like I was supposed to do that like a long time ago, but um, I never got around to doing it. So let me know in the comments if you guys would want to see that because like Bay Area slang is funny and um, a lot of people use our slang and don't even be knowing what they're talking about. So if you want a Bay Area slang video, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I had to learn like people are like really different and not built. They're not built right. I'm not saying I'm like perfect because I'm obviously not. But like people aren't built like me, bruh. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But people are interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, I became a lot more like aware of like the world this year. Um, and like people just like in general, the way people operate, the way people get down, the way people do things. Um, and I don't like people. Like I've always disliked people, but like this year made me like really want to just stay away from like everybody. Um, because I'm just I'm just more aware now of like how people move and it's not cool like it's really just not cool um I found out a lot about like my inner like circle not my inner circle but like local my my city and like people around me and how people are like collectively just just like trying to like tear a bitch down and it's just like oh my gosh y'all are bad y'all are really bad I'm not even gonna go into detail because I don't even know who be watching my videos like that. Like I know some um, some creepers that be on my channel and don't announce themselves. Like I know for a fact it's some people that don't like me that watch my videos, which you're a fan. You are a fan. <laughs> if you watch my videos and you don't even F with me. I can't talk about what I 100% want to talk about because like I don't know who watches me. But what I can say is that people have tried to form weapons 
against me, but the weapons did not prosper. Period. Okay. I will eventually make story times on what I'm talking about because I feel like I'm sounding very like vague right now. Y'all probably be like, what are you talking about? But yeah, I will definitely make a story time later, 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 maybe like next year about like how people are insane towards me and my sister. It's just really weird. It's not cool, man. It's really just not cool. Like people are haters and it makes me sad. It really, really, really makes me very sad because Little old me don't be bothering nobody. I be doing my own ish. I be on my own ish. I gained a lot of wisdom this year. I feel like a different person compared to who I was in January. Um, I feel like nausea in January, who was she? Like, I have no idea. Um, not to say like I was like lost or whatever. I just don't know who I was in January. Like, I have no idea. Like, I'm such a different person. I, I gain knowledge that people gain over 10 years within a year. And like, I think that's awesome. I still have so much more to learn, but I think that what I learned this year, it's like stuff that 30 year olds don't even know yet. You know what I mean? And I'm only 17, so. Maybe yeah, my mind is powerful, period. And that's kind of why, like I say, like I don't really regret anything that happened this year. I'm actually very thankful that I went through what I went through because I needed it to grow. Um, my theory is that uh, like everything that I learned this year or everything that I went through this year, God obviously like wanted me to like experience and everything that I went through was kind of like a test of my patience, my um, durability, my endurance, my, my, my mental and emotional strength. Um, I feel like I was being tested and if I failed, basically I passed each test that I was faced with or I was given and but if I like but if I didn't pass these tests, I would have to continue to go through the same thing or like go through the same or learn the same lesson, but just with different like learn the same lesson in different ways um, until I understood if that makes any sense. Basically, learned each lesson that I learned for a reason and the same lessons kept being presented to me, kept being presented to me, kept being presented to me. But once I finally learned, that was the end of it. And now that I've learned from those lessons, it's time for me to grow because I've learned those lessons and now it's time for me to, you know, grow. Like, I think, like, if I hadn't gained the knowledge that I gained, I would just have to keep going through the same thing over and over and over until I gained the knowledge. But now that I gained the knowledge, it's like, okay, you know now, you know right from wrong in terms of, you know, this one area of life, you know right from wrong now. It's time for you to proceed, you know what I'm saying, in life. I'm sounding like a preacher right now. Um, hopefully I'm making sense because I don't know how to put my thoughts into words, like being cohesive. Uh, cohesion is like not my strong suit. Um, I'm better at just like typing things out and not like literally speaking, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying because I don't want to sound dumb right now. Doing eyeshadow when you have lash extensions is a task because look, you don't want to get them like get the product like on the lashes and then taking off the makeup is like a task in itself as well so yeah lashes can last it <laughs> lash extensions are very cute but they are definitely a task um if you do live in the bay area though um hit up lashed by kopi super cheap and super cute put her information in the description box because i feel like lash extensions are very essential for the winter time you know who wants to be wearing heck and makeup like that in the winter time you want to let your skin breathe. I don't have a coupon code, but still hit around. Oh my gosh, you guys. My YouTube plaque finally came after 3,000 years. It finally came. I'm way past 100,000 subscribers, but like, it's still here and it's still lit. And um, when I hit a milli, it would just be amazing to have this one right next to it. So, we love that. Thank you, YouTube. Um, it's so cute. There's a mirror. Like, we love that. Um, it's just a really nice addition to my room because like as you can see like my room is pretty much the same color as this it's like monochromatic we love that it wasn't even planned but youtube was on the same page as me we stand i talked about this on my instagram story um if you don't follow me on instagram still why don't you follow me on instagram instagram is nine dollar sign shameless self promo um i said how if my life or yeah if my life was like a book 2019 the chapter would be titled um my like 
awakening period I guess and uh, or like my enlightenment period um, I just learned so much about not only myself but like life period and it's so cool it's so much that I, I didn't know that I know now and it's so crazy I just I like learning I'm like literally a nerd I don't like traditional like learning like classroom stuff and all that but I do just love like learning like on my own um, I don't like school but I love learning I feel so freaking like why I feel like a 75 year old woman and I'm literally not I guess that's what you call an old soul it's just interesting like this is like the last year of this freaking decade like what the heck if that doesn't scare you not even scare you if that doesn't like amaze you and just like intrigue you like I don't know what will like I've lived through an entire decade that's awesome I've seen trends I've seen social media happen I've seen this I've seen the rise of social media I've seen so many things I've seen freaking Trump like what the heck this is crazy I talk a lot you guys are probably like what are you talking about but no I think that looks really good I think this year was definitely like the start of like a good adult life even though I'm 17 like I'm literally still a teenager I'm still a child but like since I don't live with my parents anymore you feel me I pay my own bills I do everything on my own I can consider myself like a practice adult we love that for me. Let me use this, this lipstick real quick. I'm kind of scared because I haven't used this in freaking years, but let's see. I totally should have like lined my lips before I did this, but here we are. Okay, so that was the video. My makeup is done and I think I look pretty beat. Um, this lipstick, I'm trying to figure out if I like it or not, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below some things that you learned this year. I want to know. I'm kind of interested. Happy early new year, and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye! <laughs>